Time for your punishment. I'm listening. Of course. Time for a swim. For peace. Yes. Sweet dreams. I'll do my best. Orders for me. Do you need a hug? Gotta cool off. What you want? Sweet dreams. Hi there everyone, Guardian E here with another Camilla Emblem Clear video for Fire Emblem Heroes. This time we're going to be taking on the beloved Princess Nana on her very own Legendary Hero Battle on Abyssal Difficulty. So Nana here as a Cavalry Sword unit is essentially built to ne negate and nullify any damage reduction on her would-be victim. So she's going to rush in, 
Uh, her weapon, Land Sword, effectively neutralizes the enemy's damage reduction skills, and then she also neutralizes any enemy phase specials that, the en that her opponent might have. Uh, many of which tend to be damage reduction in, in nature, but also could be things like Miracle, uh, like Phase Special that also revives her, things like that. So, uh, again, I think it has some unique utility built into it. I do think it'll have some longevity as they introduce more damage reduction skills and damage reduction units in the future. Um, that's really more or less her deal. She does do a lot of raw damage because she has some built-in true damage built into her B slot. She also has Kanto, Remainder, plus one. And then they did decide to give her Deflect Magic 3 just to give her a little bit more ranged bulk. She's not really intended to take ranged damage at all. She's not built for it. She doesn't have Distant Counter built in. But that is going to improve her survivability alongside Miracle, which starts at a two-turn cooldown at the start of this map. Naturally, her... Stat spread is rather impressive, obviously geared towards the attack uh, side of things and the player phasing side of things, but it's not as though her defense and res is anything to really scoff at. Now the map composition is actually really interesting because it's side to side oriented rather than the typical vertical oriented. So you're all on the left hand side, the opponents are on the right hand side, and because you have a, a sm shorter range between yourselves and the opponents, um, that is going to take advantage of the fact that uh, Nana is a cavalry and there's lots of cavalry units that appear not only in the initial batch of units, but also in the successive reinforcements that do appear. Lots of ranged units as well, and also interestingly, they do split you into two smaller groups, slightly split and set apart. Now, despite the relatively open floor plan of the map, I will say that there are some Breakable pillars that actually make maneuvering a little annoying. They're kind of spaced just apart, and you have certain walls here on your side that do make repositioning to safety a little bit of a nuisance. Now, the enemy forces and reinforcements are all about bum rushing in, all about offense, not really about defense, and they are relatively close to you as well. Again, despite the awkward orientation and the awkward positioning starting here with these pillars. So that being the case, I do think this map is very, very susceptible to Gale Force tactics, turn one clears. I'm expecting a lot of people to come up with those really, really easily actually, because um, I think that just the current map orientation is super susceptible to it, because if you have some, um, some further distance or pretty long distance and even long range refreshers, um, that will make short work of the map as a whole. Now, aside from Nana herself, nothing too terribly threatening on the enemy side, and as they make their approach, they're a little bit weaker on the defensive side of things, so they're a little bit easier to actually pick off as they make their approach, because I think they are built for offense rather than enemy phasing. So before we start the run, let's take a look at the Camillas themselves. So first up, we've got Vanilla Camilla, Mersh at plus 10, five, uh, 15 Dragon Flowers, Summoner Support, Attack and Speed Assets, Camilla's Axe with Special Refine, Reposition Draconic Aura, Distant Counter, Guard Bearing, Hone Flyers, and Mystic Boost. We've got Tropical Beauty Camilla, plus 10, 10 Dragon Flowers, Attack Asset, has Summoner Support, uh, Packed Blooms Plus with Attack Asset, Reposition Draconic Aura, Swift Sparrow 3 and Swift Sparrow 2 for the A slot and seal respectively, Desperation and Goad Flyers. Adrift Camilla at plus 10, 10 Dragon Flower Summoner Support, Attack Asset, has her Book of Dreams with its special refined, Reposition Draconic Aura, Attack Res Unity, Desperation 3, Goad Flyers, and Attack Speed Bond 3 for the seal. And then finally, we have Light of Noor Camilla, plus 10, 15 Dragon Flowers, Attack and Speed Assets, Summoner Support, Native Sand Greether with special refine, Rescue Plus, Miracle, Attack Speed Push 4, Wrathful Staff, Goad Flyers, and Renewal. So one of the easiest engagement points right away is going to be this Axe Fighter up at the top. You're able to very easily pick him off without um, being in the danger range of any of the other enemy forces. So that's what we're going to do. We're actually going to use Brave Camilla just to snipe and take out the Axe Fighter. And we do want to sort of thin the ranks and weaken the enemy a little bit as they make their approach. And we're going to use Vanilla Camilla to do that. So she's gonna, we're going to place her in danger range here. She's in range of both the Green Mage and the Bow Cavalier. And in either case, she is going to be able to tank uh, those hits. And whoever is left is actually going to be in the way of the other unit. So she's only going to take one of those attacks. So the bow fighter is going to approach, tank the hits. They can attack. They can tank the uh, the enemy phasing as well. But they are weakened on this turn, which does soften them up so that we can deftly take out the bow cavalier on this turn with vanilla Camilla on player phase. 
So go ahead and do that, and we will also just reposition Vanilla Camilla up. And now this is perfectly orienting ourselves so that Vanilla Camilla is in the range of the Blue Thief. Uh, she'll be able to handle the enemy phase, has color advantage as well, the, well as the guard bearing. And then a Drift Camilla is going to be in the range of the, the Green Mage, which is perfect because she can tank that no problem whatsoever. We're just going to shift uh, Summer Camilla up here just to give a buff, passive Goadflyer's buff to the rest of the Camillas. And we will also use Brave Camilla to just go ahead and heal and top off the health of Vanilla Camilla for this following turn. So the enemy is going to make their approach. We'll enemy phase them handily, no problem. Soften them up in the process as well. Green Mage goes down. And of course, more reinforcements. And like I said, lots of range, lots of cavalry ranged units on this map. And I think, again, that's what they're banking on. Lots of offensive ranged cavalry units. Very, very uh, short range or distance that they have to reach you because it is a horizontally oriented map versus a vertical map. Uh, just with some careful positioning, you can take care of them no problem. So we're going to eliminate the uh, Lance Knight here with Summer Camilla on player phase. Take them out. We are going to utilize a Drift Camilla to take out the Red Bow, one of the bigger threats on the enemy team right now with that weapon advantage against flying. Um, and at this point, we are going to use Vanilla Camilla to reposition a Drift Camilla to relative safety, just away from the biggest danger threats. And at this point, it does create sort of a blockade of relatively tanky enemy phase units on our Camilla team. Uh, if we, As long as we take out the Blue Thief that has Glimmer at the ready, we just want to go ahead and eliminate them right away with Brave Camilla. And then again, the rest of them are all mages, where we'll be able to tank them as they make their approach and attack. Brave Camilla will take that hit. And then we have, of course, the Blue Cavalier as well. And then the Green Mage is going to engage on Vanilla Camilla and get KO'd for their trouble. Enemy Force will continue to approach, and once again, more reinforcements. And this time, a flying ranged units as well as, well, just two flying units in general. One ranged and one not. The um, What I will note is that the Lance Flyer does, of course, have even Tempest. So again, this increased range or increased movement range is really kind of the enemy strategy on this map. And they do, of course, have Lunge. Uh, the Ice Cavalier also has Lunge. Just sort of something to keep in mind if you are relying on the formation of your team because uh, Lunge can certainly ruin those strategies sometimes. Uh, so at this point, we are going to take out the Blue Flyer that just spawned with Vanilla Camilla, just player phase her right out of the sky. Um, and then at this point, we are also going to just swap back a little bit here with Brave Camilla. She's a little bit, she's hurting a little bit, which puts her in danger. However, she does have Miracle Ready, but we just want to save that. Um, at this point, we also want to take out the Sword Fighter. We're going to take out the Sword Fighter with our Summer Camilla. And then we are going to use a Drift Camilla to reposition her to safety, keeping her in the range of the Axe Cavalier. But she can tank that with the color advantage. Now you have, of course, the uh, uh, the Flying Lancer there that is going to have the extended range attack. And then you saw both of those lunges in action, which could have been detrimental if we had not planned for that accordingly. And at this point, Nana has overextended, is pretty, basically all by herself up here. And you have the two lunge units down here. We're going to go ahead and take them out. Uh, Summer Camilla will take out the Lance Flyer. The Axe Cavalier we will eliminate with Brave Camilla over here. And at this point, we just want to set ourselves up for taking out Nana on that final turn. So we're just going to reposition Vanilla Camilla to safety. Again, Nana is going to be able to completely nullify her guard bearing, do lots of damage. She has color advantage as well, so we want to avoid that. Um, and at this point, we're just going to heal a Drift Camilla so that she does get the full bonuses of her Book of Dreams. Actually, not necessary. I just like to see big numbers. And then we're going to proc the Draconic Aura on Nana to get that 110 damage. Uh, so that is it. That is the strategy that I employed with Camilla Emblem to clear Nana, Beloved Princess, on her very own Legendary Hero Battle on Abyssal difficulty. Let me know in the comments below what strategies and teams you ended up using to clear this Abyssal level map. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more Fire Emblem Heroes content. We thank you all so much for watching and for taking time out of your day to spend with us. We really do appreciate it. Certainly hoping you're all staying safe, healthy, secure, and united out there, and wishing the very, very best for you, your family, and your friends. And until next time, let's protect those skies.